Hi everyone, I'm Michelle Kelly. Welcome to the 2000, to my 2019 New Year's resolution, Be the Change, where I broke up with fear, I broke up with shame, and I broke up with guilt. It hasn't broken up with me, by the way. I'm gonna get started by reading my inspiration. Our deepest fear is not that we're inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, with which most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, and fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your plain small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people will not feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine as children do. We were born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It is not just in some of us, it is in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give others permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fears, our presence automatically liberates others. Marianne Williamson. I'd like to say welcome to everyone who's joining me for the first time and welcome back to everyone who has joined me before. I made a commitment out loud that I was breaking up with fear, I was breaking up with shame, and I was breaking up with guilt, and I was going to do a weekly video. Um, we are in June already, so I'm halfway through my New Year's resolution, which is amazing to me. Last week I was talking about... Um, how much we affect, I affect other people, and and how I sabotage myself. And, and I never knew that I did this stuff. It wasn't until I've been able to honestly take a look at myself and some of my behaviors and patterns. Um, I wanted to talk about a story um, to tell you how I used to sabotage myself. Um, when I was a little girl, when I was in second grade, I um, remember I got in trouble because I couldn't spell the word delicious. That's not why I got in trouble. I got in trouble because I wouldn't write the word on the board. But um, I swore it was delicious with a J. And I remember the teacher kept me in from recess and wanted me to write delicious on the board and I wouldn't write it because I swore it was with a J. So my parents came in and I got in trouble because I wouldn't do it. And then I got into third grade and I couldn't do math and I got in trouble for that. And then I went to an ear, nose and throat specialist and found out that I had hearing issues and that I got tubes in my ear. However, the damage was done. I always thought I was stupid and I wasn't that smart. So what I did is I reinforced that constantly. And I would tell people I'm not that smart. And as people would say back to me, Michelle's not that smart, I would get mad at them. But I kept telling people that to the point that I believed it and I would not try things or not do things because I assumed I couldn't and because it was too hard. So um, fast forward, I supported that my whole life. And what I found out about myself is I am super creative and I don't learn like everybody else. And opening up a book and reading it is not easy for me. I would rather watch a video. I would rather you show me and I can do it. But as far as like opening books and reading them, that is not something that I like to do. So anyway, um, fast forward, as an adult, I, I didn't try things. I didn't do things because I just assumed I couldn't. And when I left my ex-husband, I either had to hire somebody, wait for somebody to show up, or do things myself. And I started doing things myself. And I found out I'm really smart. And um, it didn't matter how many people told me how smart I am. I didn't believe them. I had to do things that made me feel smart. And another thing that I did is I wrote my first song at age 42, which I never knew I would do. And not only did I write a song, I did have help after I wrote it, 
but it, I got it recorded and it is in all of the Texas Roadhouse restaurants. And I've never been in the music business. I did not know a single soul. I don't sing, I don't play an instrument. And I remember calling my brother and he's like, Michelle, how did you do this? And I'm like, it took me five months. He's like, Michelle, I know people who have been in the music business for years and haven't even come close to this. And I'm like, really? So I found out I'm really smart. And I stopped telling people that I'm not. And um, also the other thing is, is that it didn't matter how many people would tell me I'm not smart. I had to do things to make myself feel smart. And when I met my now fiance, I got engaged and I'm so happy. He graduated with his master's in chemistry. And I remember thinking, if I would have met him years ago, I would think, why would a guy like that want to be with somebody like me? Because I never felt like I was smart enough to be with somebody like that. And if I didn't do this work, I would have believed it. But I know I'm smart enough. And I am smart. And I stopped telling people that I'm not. So I hope these videos are helping you. And I look forward to doing them every week. And I hope everybody's well and this is helping you. So I will see you all next week and stay tuned. Thanks everyone for watching.